If you're anything like me, you're tired of hearing the same three royalty-free music tracks every time you go into a brand new stream. Or worse, hearing copyrighted music and knowing that even if you like this streamer, their days are numbered because they're getting banned. After all, it's 2021 and we shouldn't still be having conversations about DMCA and royalty-free. After all, those things have been around for years. Today, I'm going to explain what DMCA is since I seem to get asked this every single day, as well as give you some great places that you probably and hopefully haven't heard of yet to get some amazing royalty-free music. Let's go. Hey, I'm LJ with streamscheme.com. I'm also a variety streamer over at twitch.tv slash LJM underscore. There's a link to that in the description if you want to check me out. I am alive right now. But there's also in the description a link to streamscheme.com, a place with over 600 guides all about streaming for your streaming needs. If there isn't a video on this channel covering a topic, there's probably one over on streamscheme.com. So check it out. It's free and entirely for you. Before I jump into this video and show you guys where you can get some music to create a very unique stream from everyone else, I also want to throw a massive thank you out to Owned.TV. Owned.TV are your one-stop shop for all things streaming related. And that's not just marketing jargon, they actually have a little bit of everything. You want some DMCA safe sound alerts for your stream? Heck, they even have a music service, Owned Music. There's a link to it in the description, guys. Go check them out. Grab yourself some sound effects, some music, heck, even just a full animated overlay. And if you want to support us, support them, because they support the channel. If you're here just to find out some resources for music, feel free to check out the time codes in the description. But first, I kind of need to explain what DMCA and a copyright strike is, because there's a lot of new streamers who just don't know. Now, if you've been on Twitch, whether as a watcher or as a streamer for the last eight months, you've probably heard about this brand new, never before seen thing called DMCA, the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Now, this thing, it just came out of nowhere. Nobody saw it coming. And Twitch, they're the guys behind it. That's why you see all these people saying Twitch bad and shaking their fists angrily at the sky. Because they're slapping these DMCA's out left, right and centre, just hurting creators for no reason. It's also probably why you've heard people say that YouTube is a much better place for streamers and content creators. For example, on Twitch, if you were to get three copyright strikes, that's right, just three copyright strikes, they'll delete your channel. Whereas over on YouTube, if you get three copyright strikes, they'll delete your channel. Wait. All jokes aside, DMCA and copyright strikes have been around for years. And in the same vein that they've been around for years, royalty-free music and labels who have been creating music for streamers and video makers have also been around for years. I will admit that YouTube does have better ways to handle DMCA and copyright strikes. And there are situations where they will protect creators for fair use. But blaming people isn't the way forward. Instead, let's just figure out exactly what DMCA and copyright strikes are and how you can protect yourself from being banned. Without digging too deep into the DMCA or the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, essentially all it does is stop people from using artists' work if they don't have the appropriate license to use it. This means if you're going to use music in your stream, you need to make sure you have the appropriate licenses or rights to use the music. You can either do this by purchasing a license from one of the services we talked about today, or just going and using one of the free services we're going to talk about today, and you'll be good to go. And now I know I'm going to get asked, so I will just quickly say YouTube Premium and Spotify Premium aren't the same as having a broadcast license to use music. If you want to protect yourself and you want to avoid being banned, there is one simple way forward in this entire process. Do not use copyright music without the appropriate rights. And anyone who says, just delete your VOD after, or don't save your VOD, you're going to get caught with your pants down if you think that just deleting your VOD is going to get rid of the evidence. Besides, on Twitch and streaming in general, there's an even bigger problem than DMCA and copyright strike when it comes to music. Most content creators aren't using music in a way that actually gives them any benefit. They're using it to fill dead air. But there's such a better way to use music. Is there a lull in the stream? Maybe it's a bit quiet or maybe you're just finishing up the stream and people have kind of gone into lurk mode. Music sets a tone and a mood. It lifts people up and gets them excited. Maybe you do want to fill dead air, but you don't want to use the same generic background lo-fi. You want to use something that has some character and personality to it. Maybe you have some nostalgia that helps you engage people when they join. One of the places we're going to talk about today, Game Chops, is literally that in a nutshell. Look, let's just get straight into some of the creators because I really want to talk about where you can get your music from. But just to reiterate, guys, if you curate your playlist and you work to make an amazing set of songs designed to create emotion, give people a feeling, maybe just make them want to chill out and enjoy the stream, then it will go so much further. I curate the music that I want to listen to on my stream heavily to make sure that it fits the vibe and gives people the feeling that I want them to feel. 
And I know that it works because I see great engagement pick up when I use certain songs, or I just see us all chill out and vibe when I use other ones. If you wanna see any of those tracks that I use, by the way, you can go to my chat right now and type exclamation mark song. It'll give you a full playlist. Everything in it is royalty free or copyright free, whatever you wanna call it, as long as you credit the people. Seriously, check it out. In that playlist, you're gonna see at the very, very start, I have two particular musicians. The first, Hyper Potions, and the second is Young Bay. I wanna talk about Hyper Potions first because honestly, these guys are so underrated. And I know they've got hundreds of thousands of views and they've made music for the Sonic film and stuff, but they are still underrated in the streaming community. If you go over to their YouTube and look at any of their tracks and you scroll down and check the description, it'll tell you exactly what you have to do to be able to use that song. And a lot of the time, it's just credit them. There are some songs of theirs that you won't be able to use, but it says it in the description if you can't. I think it's the reason why people love the Hyper Potion tracks in my playlist is because it gives them nostalgia. They remember things like old school Nintendo or old school Zelda or even Sega games. They're not directly connected to these games, but they're so heavily inspired by them and they're just fantastic tracks that people can't help but enjoy themselves. Second up, you'll see in the playlist is Young Bay. Now, these guys are fantastic. I absolutely love Young Bay's music. And the thing is, he just gave everyone permission to use it. Just tweeted it out and that is permission enough for you to protect yourself. They're very high tempo, very boppy and very, very, very engaging for your chat. They're incredibly exciting for people. The only reason why I considered not including them was because when working with artists, you never know if their record label is just going to turn around and say, yeah, we don't care about that tweet. But his music's kind of worth that little risk for me, I think, and that tweet's screenshotted and saved in a little folder on my computer. So if it gets taken down and someone tries to come after me, I got my proof, all right? These two creators start my stream off every single night in that exact order of that playlist, and people love it. When 16 seconds hits on my timer, people start saying hype. People get excited because Young Bay starts and it builds up to the moment when I'm gonna transition and be live. Seriously, check out these creators. They're incredibly underrated when it comes to streaming music, but they'll do amazing work to set that tempo and to set that energy for yourself and for your stream. But you've got all your energy, right? And you're not gonna be able to stay that energy for four hours, five hours, I don't know how long you wanna stream for. So what do you put in between all the hype? Well, my go-to is Game Chops and also Chill Hop, but I'll talk about them in a second. First. Game Chops, I don't understand why more people don't use it. You name your favorite video game soundtrack. Game Chops has taken that and remixed it and then released it under their record label so that it has Creative Commons and then given everyone permission to use those songs as long as you credit them. Yeah, that sounds amazing. I'll take that in a heartbeat. I use their Zelda Lo-Fi, Pokemon Lo-Fi. I honestly, I just use everything by them because they're fantastic and the nostalgia that's connected to it instantly connects with people when they jump into chat. I have brand new viewers join my chat and then go, whoa, is this Gerudo Valley remixed? I love it. And I go, yeah, it is. Do you like Zelda? And a conversation starts. You should check it out. They got a lot of different stuff over there, but seriously, stop wasting time. Game Chops are so talented. Maybe you aren't a gamer though, or maybe you're just not feeling the style that Game Chops has. Then I recommend you check out Chill Hop. Chill Hop have been around for ages and they have so much content and so much music for you to use. All you have to do is credit them in the panels, but that's easy to do. And with music this good, I don't see why you would be upset about that. They've got these fantastic two hour long playlists as well with a particular vibe and feeling to them. Whether it's summertime vibes, endless Sunday, airplane mode, these tracks are fantastic. I really recommend checking out Chill Hop. As I said, Chill Hop and Game Chops are free. You just need to credit them properly, which is on their site. I'm gonna cover a question I get asked every single video. My Twitter DMs are literally dead because of this question. LJ, where do you get the music for your videos? What is that song name? Can I use it? Don't worry, we will get there. But before we do, I wanna throw it out. If this video helps you out at all, consider subscribing and checking out our other content. We have videos about the best time to stream, best games to stream, how to keep yourself talking, you name it, we've got it. Check it all out if it helps. Subscribing to the channel helps us out. And if you want, you can get free overlays that we've created and released into our Discord. We have some new ones coming out soon. I will get to them, don't worry. So consider checking out our Discord and downloading those so you can get your stream looking nice and fancy. Okay, all of the tracks on this YouTube channel and on every YouTube channel I've had before today and on every brand video that I've done or filmmaking challenge that I've done has come from two places. The first, artlist.io. It is a fantastic place if you are looking for music. The second and the place that I use much more often is Epidemic Sound. 
Both of these are paid options. You do have to buy a license or a subscription to use these services. But you're probably thinking, why would I do that when you've just outlined a bunch of amazing free services? Because I want my videos to be unique. I want my content to be unique. I want people to not think, oh, it's that same third most popular song from no copyright sound being used again. And not just that, but when I use Epidemic Sound, it gives me stems, which means if I download a song, it usually comes with four or five files and each one is just a certain instrument. If I want just the bass guitar, then I can just use the bass guitar. It gives me the ability to break up a song and change the melody and change the kind of feeling behind it throughout a video. You'll actually hear it if you watch back the last few videos. Randomly, I'll just decide this will do better if it's just bass guitar. Both of these services are incredibly flexible and they can really fit any genre at all. The reason they tend to go with Epidemic other than those stems is also because they have around 30,000 tracks and 64,000 sound effects that can also be used as stream alerts if you want to. And all 30,000 of those tracks are actually Spotify compatible. Sadly, Artlist doesn't have a free trial, but Epidemic actually has a 30 day free trial that anyone can sign up with. As I said, it's linked in the description. After those 30 days, you can decide if the music was worth it, if you're really using it, and then if you don't wanna upgrade or you don't wanna buy a license, you don't have to. Neither of these guys have sponsored me or anything like that. I've literally been using Artlist and Epidemic for years now across all of my filmmaking work. I just highly recommend them. I don't think anyone else is producing music and tracks for artists as good as these guys. Let's list off in a quick fire way a few more different services you can use. Now, I might not be using these guys in my tracks, but I have used them previously and they're fantastic. First off, Pretzel Rock. I think you should all know Pretzel Rock by now. There is a free version and a paid version. The paid version, all it does is change so that you don't need to give them credit in the chat. Now, I actually kind of like people who give credit in the chat automatically, because for me, I get asked every five minutes, literally, what song is this? Where can I listen to this? How do I find this? And I have to make a command for it. So Pretzel Rock, your free version, it's extra features that it comes up with the chat attribution. Monster Cat are just as well known as Pretzel Rock, I must say, and not just because they tried to sell affiliate status to Twitch streamers for $5, but because they have a lot of great music and they've been in this industry for so long now, they've managed to accrue a huge amount of tracks and genres under their banner. Now, I know I joked about them earlier, but no copyright sound is a staple of this industry and this field. If I hadn't brought them up, someone would have brought it up in the comments. No copyright sound are fantastic. The only problem I have is that they aren't very unique. Seriously, if you go look at Call of Duty 4 montages from five years ago, there's tracks from no copyright sound being used pretty much constantly. No copyright sound just simply requires some attribution and credit to them, which is great. You don't have to pay anything. And they are really high quality tracks. Monster Cat, No Copyright Sound, and Pretzel Rock are fantastic for those faster paced games. However, if you are doing slower to medium games, I do think Game Chops, Chill Hop, Hyper Potions, and stuff like that are a better bet for you. Now, the final and probably the most important royalty-free service that you're gonna need to know about, and you probably already know about it because it has one of the hardest working people in this industry creating it tirelessly, making sure that you have DMCA safe music. Seriously, I feel like I don't even need to mention them. You guys know who they are. It's Lily Pichu with Comfy Beats. Now, Comfy Beats isn't necessarily directly designed for streaming, but it's still fantastic and has some really great vibes. I want to include this because I think it's something that a lot of people have just never even looked at using. Go check them out because they really will give you a certain feeling to your chat that I think a lot of just chatting streamers and cozy streamers or slower paced streamers would really love. So I think that's pretty much every single royalty free service that I would recommend. Anything else out there, chuck it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. We'll be back next week with some more videos and content for you though. So please consider liking, subscribing. Hope you have a great week guys. I'll see you later. I think that's the end of the video. Nothing else to do. Whoa, how did you get in here? Hey man, hey, whoa, 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 don't, don't. I said you stream beats. I'm, I don't, I, okay, yeah, 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 stream beats. Use stream beats. All right, calm down. Okay, we're gonna use stream beats, not yeah. none of this stuff. I'm just gonna use stream beats, all right? E easy. All right, I'm gonna go then. Yeah, use stream beats.